Hi guys, it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 23. So happy Christmas Eve Eve. <laughs> okay, so let me show you what I've done on my rectangle granny. Okay, so this would be days 1 through 22 of the yarn, uh, scrap ball yarn um, swap that I'm doing with Kayla of Llama Mama Kayla. Okay, so let me get this. It's getting to be a very nice size. I'm really loving it. <laughs> so yesterday's color was this orange. It's like a pumpkin orange type color, okay? And so the ball was a pretty good size ball. And so, um, let me show you that green. I was talking about, talking to you about that green corner that kept uh, staying. It, wouldn't, it wasn't getting um, covered up. <laughs> It got covered up, <laughs> so I'm glad for that. Okay, so let me see. I started, um, yes, I started right here, and so I got around the rest of this long side, okay, and then the whole short side, and then this whole long side, <laughs> yes, and then uh, almost... The, the second short side so um, I stopped right here okay so I've just got this corner that um, didn't get that orange on it <laughs> okay so let's open the bag and we will find out what the next color will be okay so for day 23 okay it's another multicolor well, that's cool because this one has got um, some blues, like more like uh, kind of denim type colored blues, um, a dark one and a light one, and then there's a kind of a taupe color and then some white. So it's a multicolor. Very pretty. And so uh, this is going to uh, bring in some more blues because I've had I've noticed right here on the edges that I've had lots of pinks and oranges all there together and so now this one is going to bring in a different color back into it again that have picks up some of these blues so that'll be cool <laughs> so that is the color that I'm going to be adding in to the next um, the next round of my blanket okay and and also in the sack in the little baggie she had a uh, another chocolate for me so thank you Kayla okay so for the movie I'm going to be watching today well yesterday I watched the bells of St. Mary's and I enjoyed that very much there is a Christmas scene in there I had forgotten about it because it'd been a while since I've seen it but there is a uh, section of it that's a Christmas scene um it was really cute it was it was um it's like these kindergartners or first graders and they're like gonna do a Christmas play and and it was like their interpretation of the Christmas story and it is so cute <laughs> it is very cute okay and so uh, oh and I noticed that there was an of course I was telling you those Ingrid Bergman was also in the movie besides being Crosby but there's another woman in the movie and I think I think it was Rosemary Clooney who played in with being Crosby in Bing Crosby <laughs> in White Christmas and I think that's who that was I didn't look at the credits I should have looked it up to see if that's really who that was but it looked like it was her okay um, so today's Christmas movie that I'm going to be watching was suggested to me by a viewer so thank you very much and I'm be going to be watching the movie called Klaus is spelled K-L a U S Claus Klaus. It is a uh, animated movie. I think it's new, and it's from Netflix. So it's on Netflix. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be watching today. Um, yes, and putting my yarn in. Okay, let's go to the trivia questions. Okay, so yesterday I gave you three trivia questions. So let me give you the answers to those. Okay, Whoop, let me find them here. Okay, number one, why are candy canes shaped like shepherd hooks? And according to Christian interpretation of the meaning of them, it's to remind us of the gifts that the shepherds brought to baby Jesus. Okay, 
Okay, number two, similar to tinsel, these long strips of shiny foil are used to decorate a Christmas tree. What are they called? And those are called icicles. And I remember when I was a little, little girl, we used to put icicles on our tree. And it was just these long, skinny, uh, silvery strips of tinsel. And you would just take a wad of them and throw them on the tree. <laughs> and I remember our, our Christmas tree growing up when we, had, when we used a real tree tree um, we would put that on the tree and then also I remember my grandmother would use that on her tree as well I don't think people do that on their trees anymore but uh, I do remember in the movie it's a wonderful life and I remember uh, watching seeing the scene where the children are decorating the Christmas tree and they're putting the tinsel on there so um, yeah, so uh, do y'all remember using tinsel? Those, and they, they were icicles. And I guess, I mean, you didn't like take them off and use them the next year. I guess you just, they just were thrown away with the Christmas tree. Um, and then use more next, the following year, I suppose. I don't remember getting them off the tree. That would be a lot of jo big job. <laughs> okay, so. The answer was icicles. Okay, number three. In 1947, Gene Autry recorded a, a song in which he told listeners to hang your stockings and say your prayers because Santa Claus is coming tonight. What is the name of that song? And it was Here Comes Santa Claus. Okay, right down Santa Claus Lane. <laughs> now are you singing it <laughs> in your head? <laughs> okay, um... Number one for the new trivia questions, okay? What did Noel mean in Latin before it was being used for Christmas, okay? Number two, where did the Nutcracker Ballet, where did it actually start and when? And then number three, red and green are the two colors most associated with Christmas. What other two colors are extremely popular in the Christmas season? Okay, so that is our trivia questions for today. I was telling you uh, that the movie I was watching today is Klaus or Claus. It's in, um, it's on Netflix, okay? And uh, the color that I'm going to be putting into my uh, blanket today. Okay, so let's see. What have I done today? Well, I had to get up really early this morning. My son had to be at work at 7 o'clock. <laughs> and so I took him to work and then... Um, since I was already out, I went ahead and went to the grocery store and got my, hopefully, all the groceries that I need for the next few days. I won't have to go back, hopefully, until after Christmas. Um, and so I went ahead and did that, in which I mean, it was super early, and so there wasn't that many people there. But really, when I was leaving the grocery store around 8, 8, 8.30, it was already beginning to, people were already kind of beginning to... Um, come in so uh, but when I was there it was there was not that many people there so anyway got all my shopping done I think <laughs> uh, came home um, oh and then I've been working on my um, the uh, Charlie in the box for the Rudolph set uh, I did another arm and I finished his box that he sits in except I have to make the lid I haven't done that part yet uh, but I finished the second arm, I cut the arms sewed on, and uh, I'm about to start on the hat, his hat. Oh, and I put his his eyes in, and I decided not, instead of using beads, because I think it called for beads instead of safety eyes, I just stitched the, the, the eyes on, <laughs> and um, I do need to cut out some circles, some round circles for the pink, his pink cheeks, um, and I've got some pink felt, that I guess I will use. It's not as dark pink as what it is in the picture, you know, but um, I guess I'll do that. Either that or I'll have to just uh, use embroidery and, and try to embroidery circles on there, but I don't know. Well, I'll see how the pink looks. Um, so I have to do that still, and I have to make his nose. I haven't done that yet. Um, and like I said, his hat and the collar with the beads that Carrie sent me. So I haven't done that, but I need to do that. And so I'm hoping that I will get finished with him um, before Christmas. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve, so I'm ho hoping that I will be able to get finished with him. Okay, so that's what I'm doing today. Um, I need to start the final round of color on my the baby elephant blanket, and I've got some ends on the back of the blanket I need to weave in. So I, I may try to get some of that done. Um, 
today as well. I don't know. We'll see. I got to do some straightening up and um, I made a list of the things I need to cook tomorrow, uh, the day before Christmas to get a few things cooked ahead of time. <laughs> and so um, just just kind of finalizing details. Oh, and I also worked on my goals, some of my goals for next year. So I'm getting excited about them. I'm, I think they're going to be good. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I'm doing today and what I'm going to be doing with my Vlogmas. Now, tomorrow is Vlogmas Day 24 and it's Christmas Eve, but it also is Thursday, which is Yarn Joy Podcast, my regular episode. And so what I might do, because I don't have a whole lot to show for that episode, because the main two things I've been working on is the Charlie in the Box and uh, the elephant blanket. And so what I might do is combine my Vlogmas 24 video with my Yarn Joy podcast video. It be one video. I might do that. Um, yeah, I think I might do that. So anyway, we'll see. <laughs> um, so that's it. I hope you are having a great December 23rd <laughs> and um, thanks for stopping by and spending a little vlogmas day 23 with me tomorrow uh, come back tomorrow please <laughs> and we will do vlogmas day 24 yeah right because it's day 23 <laughs> okay guys <sighs> we'll see you later um, uh, in the next video bye <laughs>